Now to a huge hearing today in the Delphi murders case. All of this coming seven years after Abby Williams and Libby German were killed. Topics today range from where the trial will take place to whether this case should actually be thrown out. Our let Emily Longnecker was in court today as defense attorneys and prosecutors squared off. A full day of hearings here at the Allen County Courthouse, at times pretty tense in that courtroom. Remember, going in today, both the judge and the defense have at times tried to have the other removed from this case. The Indiana Supreme Court deciding differently, though, in mid-January. So all of the players were here today, essentially for three separate hearings on three separate issues, heading into Richard Allen's murder trial in mid-May. Judge Francis Gall ruled that two new murder charges could be added, murder charges that are different than the ones originally filed against Allen. 13 News legal expert attorney Katie Jackson Lindsay explained. The state does not have to prove that Richard Allen himself is the killer here. If they can prove that he was involved in or committed a felony that resulted in their death, then in that case, he can still be found guilty of murder. The prosecution had also hoped to add two kidnapping charges against Allen, but today agreed to drop that request because more than five years later, adding those charges falls outside the statute of limitations. A second matter taken up by the court, Judge Gall heard testimony on why the prosecution believes Allen's defense attorneys, Brad Rosie and Andrew Baldwin, should be held in contempt of court. The prosecution pointed to a press release Rosie and Baldwin put out December 1, 2022, a month after being appointed as Allen's attorneys. That press release came a day ahead of a gag order issued by the court. Prosecutor Nicholas McClellan argued that at an earlier meeting, Rosie and Baldwin said they wouldn't agree to a gag order because they had no intention of trying the case against Allen in the media. Attorney David Hennessy, representing Baldwin and Rosie on the contempt charges, told Judge Gall his clients issued a press release to quell the number of random inquiries they were getting from media all across the country about the case. Hennessy argued the press release was not an attempt to influence the public, but rather they were aware it would generate tips, much like the Indiana State Police asked for every time they held a press conference about the case. In support of contempt charges, the prosecution also pointed to leaks of evidence and crime scene photos from Baldwin's office via a former associate without Baldwin's knowledge. Hennessy argued the leaked photos that eventually ended up on the Internet were not the doing of attorney Baldwin, and for it to be willful, Baldwin would have had to have known the leak was happening. Rosie testified he learned about the leak from Baldwin, and it was reported to the prosecution and Judge Gull. The final issue of the day, a motion by the defense to dismiss the charges against Allen because of video evidence that was destroyed by the state. Interviews the defense believes could have helped prove Allen's innocence and pointed to the alleged real killers. The state testified that interviews recorded via DVR at the Delphi Police Department in the first six days after the girls' bodies were discovered somehow got erased because the DVR settings got changed, possibly because of a power surge or someone accidentally unplugging it. According to testimony, videos also recorded from April 28th to June 30th also were erased. In some cases, video was recovered, but without sound. The defense theorized that one of the people involved in the murders of Abby and Libby was interviewed in that first week after the murders. And Judge Gall not issuing or making a decision today on whether charges against Richard Allen should be dismissed because the defense saying that video evidence had been destroyed. When it comes to the uh, contempt charges against the defense, they have one week to file extra information about that. Then the prosecution has a week to respond. After that, Judge Gall has 30 days to decide whether to hold the defense in contempt. If she takes all 30 days, that will bring us up to with only two weeks to go until Richard Allen's murder trial in mid-May. At the Allen County Courthouse, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.